I remember when I was five years old, I was in the playground and a boy came up to me and he had actually stolen my friend's shoes. And I went up to him and I said, you need to give those shoes back. And I remember him punching me in the stomach and saying, I'm not gonna give you the shoes back to you because you're just a girl and you can't do anything about it. You know, people are always asking where I'm from. When I tell them I'm from here, they always go, well, I meant where are your parents from? And, and just that question alone, that's it. I remember at four years old being in daycare and one of our teachers was giving everybody a back massage. And when she didn't come to me, my immediate thought was that, oh, she didn't want to touch my skin because it's different. It's brown. It's dirty. As we try to excavate these stories and understand why this work matters, that it is emotional work. It hurts the heart, it hurts the body, it hurts the psyche. What we seek to repair, to reconcile, to heal, is not single layered. There is a growing recognition that we need to start to address the historic, systemic, and contemporary forms of injustice and inequities. And many institutions are moving in this direction. For instance, many are asking, how do we actually make our institutions more gender integrated and inclusive, racial integrated and inclusive? Because not only is it ethically right, it is beneficial culturally, politically, and economically. Hi, I'm Salima Bimani. I am the Chief Executive Officer of Relational and also the Head of Research, Consulting and Education. Globally right now, we know that insecurity and violence are unfortunately becoming a mainstay in a lot of people's lives. And there is a movement to really address the inhumanity and the injustice that people are facing with communities, with the people who are most affected. Relational is a growing team of consultants, researchers, educators, and community builders. We worked with governments, organizations, and institutions around the world to move them forward on their diversity, equity, inclusion, and social justice agendas and goals. Relational provides research, consulting, education, and policy development. We use research as a way to evaluate where an institution is in terms of its diversity, equity, and inclusion goals. We then work with them to help them implement new strategies and new pathways forward. The second area that we work in is global research and practice. Here we seek to address some of the most pressing global issues that we have today, some of which are around gender justice, some of which are around refugees and movement. We work with these communities to develop collaborative approaches. Then what we do is we build bridges between these communities and global institutions that are also doing this work. The third way that relational works is through educational programming. Here we help institutions develop the language, the thinking, and the skills to implement diversity, equity, and inclusion as a norm into their institution. Relational really comes out of this deep commitment that I've had my entire life and a deep hope that we actually can have an ethical world, a just world, an equitable world. That actually very much is possible if we all just recognize that we have to do this together. Relational is about an awakening to the interconnection between our inner selves, our outer world, and our ethical interdependence with one another.